So the mission in Madagascar, um, what it is now, was officially um, organized, I guess. It's like a formed, organized in 1998. Um, <clears throat> I believe it was Elder Scott that went and dedicated Madagascar for missionary work. Um, prior to that, um, missionaries had been in Madagascar. Sure, there were already members, um, but they'd only been preaching in um, French. And uh, I think it was part of the um, uh, South Africa mission, maybe. Um, I'm not quite sure on that. But uh, anyway, so in 1998, they formed what it is now, the Madagascar and Tandarivo mission. And um, they had both French and Malagasy speaking missionaries. Um, well, they had French, and then in about 2001 or 2002, they started teaching Malagasy here at the MTC, and that's when they kind of split the mission, well, the division language-wise. Um, so Madagascar itself was just Malagasy-speaking missionaries, and then uh, Mauritius and Reunion, which are off the coast of Madagascar, are also part of the mission, uh, were only French-speaking islands. And so the, the mission calls the same. You know, it's the Madagascar and Tanarivu mission, and then in there it specifies what language whether it's French or Malagasy. Um, so, and the mission size, um, you know, even with the increase of missionaries that the church has seen, it hasn't increased, um, at least yet. I mean, we hope it does. We get big groups at the MTC, but then groups go home, and so it doesn't really grow. But I'd say there's about 60 or 70 missionaries right now, maybe more, but there's not, there's not a lot. Um, there are now, since I've come home, a lot more natives, a lot more native missionaries, from what I've heard, which is really good um, for them. I'm, I'm sure they'd love to go to America on their missions, but um, they could definitely be used in Madagascar. Um, there are two stakes in in uh, Antanarivu, the capital, um, and then there are two districts, one in, um, in, in two different places. And those are both getting really big. One might be a stake sometime soon. Um, so in the capital, they're mostly wards. Um, I served in one of the oldest wards there. Um, you know, it's been around since the mid-90s. So it is relatively new in a way, I mean, compared to like well, America or the Philippines or something like that where they've been around for quite a while. But it is still a little bit older Um uh, and then mostly the outlying areas, the provinces and stuff, but mostly branches um, or groups because um, they're so small. Um, there's some pretty outlying areas that I served in and that I know of that, you know, you have to hike into or ride your bike or, or whatever it is. Um, and uh, so there's areas spread pretty much across the island for missionaries. Um down south, there's two areas, like way down the very bottom, um, and then the middle. So, I guess the north, what is it, the northeast, there's, there are no missionaries yet, but pretty much everywhere else, excuse me, they have missionaries. Um, and, uh, yeah, they have, you know, most of the, um, uh, the typical, um, the, the church structure is, is getting better. Um, seminary Institute, those kinds of things, they have them, but they're still kind of slow going. And uh, But yeah, that's pretty much the mission.